Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be making use of Pythagoras' theorem for sure, given that the question specifies that there is a right angle in angle C over here. Alright, so let's take a look. So we have a triangle ABC where C is your right angle, and the point D lies on the midpoint of AC. And we're supposed to prove that this relationship is always true. Alright, so let us try to draw a right angle triangle for ourselves first. Okay, and let this be C, let this be A, and let this be B. So here is our right angle, and point D lies on the midpoint of AC, which would be somewhere over here. So let us draw a line from B to D first. Okay, so our figure is now complete. Let us try to start proving this relationship. So every time we have a proving question, we have a freedom of either working from left to right or from right to left. Now in this case, if we were to start from the right, we simply have 4BD squared, right? And it will be really hard for us to work from there. So over here, starting from the left would be more advisable since we have two different variables, which we can try to draw some link between them. All right, so therefore by Pythagoras theorem, all right? The sum of AB squared plus 3BC squared, okay, let us first see. AB squared here is the hypotenuse for this large triangle over here, which means that it will be equals to AC squared plus BC squared over here. Right, and then we have 3BC squared as per usual. And now since we have 1BC squared plus 3BC squared, that gives us 4BC squared. All right, so AC squared plus 4BC squared over here. Now, we want to keep in mind that BD is going to be our end goal. And right now, as our expression stands, we haven't really introduced D yet, right? So at this point, it will be a good idea to make use of the fact that D is on the midpoint. And therefore, AC is in fact twice of the length of CD. So therefore, we could write this as... 2CD whole thing squared plus 4BC squared expand this out we get 4CD squared plus 4BC squared and at this point we could factorize out the 4 so we have BC squared plus CD squared and based on the figure that we have drawn BC and CD since both of them are perpendicular by Pythagoras theorem BC squared plus CD squared should give us the hypotenuse squared, which would therefore be BD squared. And hence, if you look back at the equation that we're trying to prove, we started off from the left-hand side. Our end goal is to try to see whether it is equal to 4BD squared, which we have done so right over here. And therefore, this has been proven. So over here, Pythagoras' theorem is actually the only concept that we need to understand. All right. And keeping in mind that 4BD squared here is our end goal. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.